Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. As you know that SQL is a super helpful universally acceptable language for accessing and manipulating databases. So if you are looking to enhance your SQL skills or break into the world of data science and analytics, then you have come to the right place. From the many courses available on SQL over the internet, we have carefully curated a list of six free SQL courses certifications to get you started and level up your SQL game. So the first one on the list is the SQL projects for beginners. This course aims to provide practical knowledge in managing and querying databases through DBMS tools. If you want to enroll yourself in this course, you simply have to visit this link. And this course is absolutely free, so you simply have to click this button to enroll yourself for free in this course. And upon the completion of this course, you will get a certificate of completion by the Great Learning Platform. If we talk about the course outline, then the first half of the course introduces you to the database management systems. It then delves into the understanding of relational database management system, which is actually a critical interface managing data storage and performance and then the later part offers a hands-on SQL project for beginners specifically a bank database project. It is a complete end-to-end -end project with source code fostering practical examples and participants can wrap up the course by taking a quiz and obtaining a certificate. So by the end of this course the participants will have a solidifying understanding of DBMS tools and SQL applications. On number two we have Learn SQL. This course focuses on managing large data sets and analyzing real data through the standard language for data management. You can get yourself enrolled in this course by visiting this link which is codeacademy.com slash learn SQL. This course on its own is free but if you want to have a certificate of completion then you want to buy its paid plan. As I have mentioned earlier it is a beginner level course and its duration is almost 5 hours. So upon completion of the course you will get the skills to navigate SQL and apply them to navigate and manipulate the databases effectively, providing a robust foundation for handling substantial data sets in the real world scenarios. And in simple words, you will be able to work with the database using SQL, create the queries for the tables and build SQL projects. So here is the syllabus for the course. You can see that it comprises of four main lessons where the first one is the manipulation in which you will learn how to use SQL to access, create and update data stored in a database. Then the second lesson is about the queries in which you will learn to perform more complex queries by learning essential query keywords and functionalities. The third lesson is about the aggregate function in which you will learn the powerful functions for performing complex database operations with ease. And then the final lesson is about the multiple tables in which you will learn to expand your SQL skills by creating and manipulating databases with multiple related tables. And once you are done with all four sessions, you will have four different quizzes and if you go with the paid plan, then you will also get a certificate of completion upon completion of this course. On number three, we have SQL for data science. This course will introduce you to the prominent SQL operations to perform data science tasks with a few demonstrated examples. This course is absolutely free and you can get yourself enrolled in it by visiting this link and simply clicking on this enroll for free button and upon completion of the course, you will get a certificate of completion for free from the Great Learning Platform. If we talk about the outline and the contents which will be covered inside the course, then the course begins with discussing the clauses in SQL and continues with other statements such as the group by, the having clause statement, aliases in SQL, joins and their types, that is the inner join, left join, right join, full join and self join. Moreover, you will also learn to work with the subqueries, their type and their execution after which you will learn the Python concept with sequence and its popularity. Then, the course also comprehends the installation of the Python. The course also includes the assessments to evaluate your gains from the course. And then, you will have a sample project in which you will see how you can integrate MySQL with Python. So, the total duration of the course is 3 hours for self-paced video lectures. And upon completion of the course, you will get a completion certificate as well that will look something like this. On number 4, we have Intermediate SQL Server. This course is provided by DataCamp and is all about using T-SQL. T-SQL is actually a kind of SQL for Microsoft SQL Server. The course uses T-SQL to analyze and clean up data right in the databases where it is stored. This course is absolutely free and you can get yourself enrolled in the course by visiting this link in the DataCamp website. 
The duration of the course is 4 hours and it comprises of 14 videos and 47 exercises. If we talk about the course content, then the content of this course is divided into 4 main chapters. In the first chapter, you will learn about summarizing data, which is one of the first step in data analysis to examine the data through aggregations. This chapter explores how to create aggregation in the SQL Server. You will also learn how to clean the missing data and categorize data into bins with the case statement. Then the second chapter is about the math functions in which you will explore the essential math operations such as rounding numbers, calculating squares and square roots and counting records. You will also work with dates in this chapter. And the third chapter is about the processing data in the SQL Server. In this chapter, you will create variables and write while loops to process the data. You will also write complex queries by using derived tables and common table expressions also known as CTEs. And in the final chapter, you will learn about the window functions. You will work with the partitions of data and the window functions to calculate several summary stats and see how easy it is to create running totals and compute the mode of numeric columns. So once you finish the course, you will have the skills to analyze the data quickly and easily, drawing insight from it. It is like getting the key to unlock useful information from the databases using T-SQL. On number 5, we have Advanced Databases and SQL Querying. This course is provided by Udemy and is the Advanced T-SQL Querying course. This course expects that the students are already aware of the basic database concepts and are comfortable with writing the basic T-SQL queries. You can get yourself enrolled in this course by visiting this link on the Udemy website. So the duration of the course is around 3 hours and 21 minutes. If we talk about the pricing of the course, then the course on its own is free, which means that the video contents for the course are free. But if you want to have a certificate of completion, the question answer session with the instructor and the service to direct message the instructor, then you need to have the paid plan for the course. As I mentioned earlier that the course is about two hours plus and has assignments at the end of each concept. So if we talk about the course content, then there are a total of 14 sections and 27 lectures in those 14 sections. And overall, this course covers advanced concepts like SQL views, triggers, dynamic queries, user-defined functions, transaction and error handling, etc. So if you are looking for your next database job or trying to improve your existing database knowledge and applying your project, then this is a course for you. And then finally, on number 6, we have Reporting in SQL. This course is also provided by the Data Camp and in this course, you will apply all the SQL concepts and functions that you have previously learned and you will employ all of this information to build your very own dashboard. You can get yourself enrolled in this course by visiting this link on the DataCamp website. You can clearly see that the course is free and the duration of the course is 4 hours which are divided into 15 videos and 54 exercises. If we talk about the content of the course, then this course content is actually divided into 4 main chapters. The first chapter which is exploring the Olympics dataset actually aims to get you familiar with the dataset that you will use. It will cover some of the essentials that you will need to explore the data properly. In this chapter, you will learn how to use the ER diagrams and data exploration techniques to get a solid understanding of the data. In the next section, which is creating the reports, you will learn to build more complex SQL queries to help you explore the data in more detail. The step-by-step -step approach helps you understand why complex queries require more thought and how they can help you build the reports. And once you get a hang of reporting in SQL, then you will move towards the third chapter in which you will learn how to clean and validate the SQL data, ensuring our reports are accurate and interpretable. And then in the final chapter, whose title is Complex Calculations, you will learn to perform complex calculations using the Windows functions and layered calculations. You will gain hands-on experience building two advanced calculations in particular which are the percent of a total calculation and the performance index calculation. So if you find the contents of this course helpful, then get yourself enrolled in the course now. And there you have it, the top 6 best SQL certification courses. In this video, we have covered a variety of courses that cater to different skill sets and learning styles. So if you are interested in any of the courses mentioned in the video, be sure to check out the description box below for links and more information. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.